this video we'll be looking at how you can customize your creative pen. So when we go and open our pens, drop down to the creative pen, we have eight default creative pens from spray paint to different colors, stars, smiley faces and stars in the sky. Now we have the ability to go and change the thickness of those so we can make them slightly thicker or thinner should we wish to but we have the opportunity to create our own custom pens. Let's have a look see how we can do that. There's two ways in which you can do this. You can either go and find the pictures that you want to use already to make your creative pen or you can go get them from your files on your computer. So here I have some pictures as well as some writing that I've gone and written on the board which I can use to customize my pen. The most important part about choosing a picture for customizing your creative pens is that it's not too involved. And we'll have a look at this picture that I've chosen to see what I mean. What you need to do is you need to go to your creative pen, find the pen that you wish to change, go along to the properties tab. And this is where we can go customize it, either by browsing or selecting the object. So here I'm gonna go and select the object. I then have my dropper and I go click on the object. I now have my new object and what I would do is save the tool properties. Then when I go right, you can see I have a new creative pen. In this instance, it's a South African flag. A number or even a word. Now you can see that you can pretty much make out word there and you can make out the flag and you can make out the number because it's a simple picture or word. If I was to go and select this picture, when I go and write with it, you'll see that you cannot see what the picture is. Unless you zoom right in, you won't be able to make out the fine detail. And that's what I was trying to let you know about. If we want to go and find pictures that we've saved, I would click on the browse, go find it in the folder that I'm looking for, Here I have two, A-OK, -okay. click open, and now I have my A-OK, -okay. and I can go and use that. Once again, I need to save these tool properties in order for it to be a permanent creative pen. So I click on that, and you'll notice that it changes within my pens. If I wanted to change it again, I'd go choose one, and then I would go and save my tool properties. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by the Technology Training Academy.